if you're looking for a high riding station wagon that can handle a bit of dirt, Subaru has got you really well covered. There's the Outback for example, the Forester, and even the funky little XV. But if you want a wagon with a bit of street smarts, you should have a look at the new Levorg GT. It's an odd name, but it's a pretty familiar car under the mostly new skin. Size-wise, it's not quite as roomy as the Outback, for example, but it's far bigger than the last generation of Impreza hatchbacks. Subaru says it's actually very similar in size to the last generation of Liberty wagons, which was one of the company's best-selling cars ever. The Levorg is based on the Impreza platform and uses the same 2.0-litre turbocharged engine and all-wheel drive layout as the WRX sedan. It also uses the same continuously variable transmission, or CVT, as the Rex and the Liberty Rangers. And CVT has gotten a bit of a bad rap over the years, but take it from me, it's a heck of a lot better these days. The base version of the Levorg is known as the GT, and it's got a few cool toys as standard, including Subaru's latest EyeSight technology that uses two cameras in the windscreen to monitor traffic ahead of you. Not only will it slow the car down for you, it'll beep at you to get you going if you're not paying attention sitting at the lights. It does miss out on a couple of features that you'd expect to find standard of a car of this price. It doesn't have automatic wipers, for example, and nor does it have automatic lights. They do turn off when you hop out of the car, but they won't turn on for you if it's raining or when it gets dark. It also misses out on Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Out on the road, the Levorg is definitely a different car to the WRX, despite the two sharing most of their mechanical parts. You can change the way the turbo engine responds underfoot via buttons on the steering wheel, but the extra weight of the wagon means it's more sedate than the WRX. The Levorg's ride is softer and more compliant, and the handling is less direct, which gives it a more relaxed character. It might even be too relaxed. The Levorg's ride is a little bit on the soft side, especially with a couple of people on board. The upmarket versions of the car come with Bilstein shocks, which firm up the ride quite considerably. Subaru is pitching the Levorg at those customers who might find the Outback a bit too big, and who don't necessarily like the unusual dimensions of the Forester. And not everyone wants the frantic performance of the WRX either. And the Levorg offers a level of performance that's simply not available in the smaller, non-turbo XV. Subaru has always prided itself on doing things a little bit differently, and the Levorg GT is a great example of that. It's got most of the pace of a WRX, and most of the space of an Outback yet it manages to feel completely different to both of those cars. And in a world where a lot of cars are starting to feel really, really similar, that's a trait worth celebrating. And to read the full review, you can click on the link right here.